this is Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. I'm here at Webit in Sofia, Bulgaria, and joining me right now I have Martin Dachweiler. He is the president and founder of Universidad Aquina, Bolivia. So welcome, it's good to talk to you. Thank you very much, I'm so glad to be here. All and the way from Bolivia. All the way from Bolivia, more than 11,000 miles from here. Okay, so I understand you're working on a very exciting project. You're building a brand new hospital and you're working with Shafi Ahmed to do so. So talk to me about where this initiative came from. Well, you see, we met uh, Shafi Ahmed um, two years ago mm -hmm. uh, in uh, California. He gave a keynote and we couldn't believe what he was doing. So we tried to reach him and it was very easy. We reached him and we talked to him and, he, and we invited him to visit our country. He came to Bolivia and there he just didn't come to Bolivia to give a keynote. He came to teach us. He came to work. We have, we have about 10 days of working so we could understand what he was doing all of the technology that's new and of course we were all interested on, on, on this you, you see and uh, well he was received by the president of Bolivia he was received <laughs> by the major and uh, well the most important part was the work that we did uh, at the university with Shafi Ahmed and in the talks that we had we were, you know, uh, seeing how we could get uh, help from him. And he was open. He said he, that we could count, count on him. So then we met in another congress in Mexico. And in Mexico, we talked about this, if he could be, uh, as, uh, if, if, we, if we could, uh, you know, help us in a better way. Then in Paris, we said, okay, would you like to be the CEO? And not only the CEO, but a, a partnership. And he said, okay, he was interested because he, he knew, he, he, he saw what we have in Bolivia. And one important thing for Bolivia and our university is that it's a, an international university. Uh, we have so many students from all over the world and especially Brazil. Brazil is next to Bolivia, 200 million Brazilians. Our country is small, 12 million people. Um, so we have a lot of people from Brazil uh, with good results. I wanted to ask you, so Martin, talk to me about why you're building a, a hospital from the very beginning. Where did this come from and how is it connected to your university? Well, um, we always wanted uh, to have a hospital because we have the, the, um, uh, the program medicine, uh, nursery, biochemistry, uh, so we need a hospital. We were working with uh, uh, public hospitals, uh, so our students were uh, uh, learning there. But when we met uh, Shafi Ahmed, with her new techniques, we saw that we can make and change the paradigm uh, on not only um, making uh, better healthcare, but uh, changing education. Right now, in most of the countries, there we're still teaching our students as we were teaching 120 years ago. Yeah. Uh, the, the doctors and the OR and the, and the, and the student is there uh, seeing the, 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 the intervention. So with the technique that uh, Shafi has developed, well, the, 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 the doctor, the student can learn much, much better, 10 times, 100 times better. He can see the video many, many times so he can get the technique. So uh, right now uh, in the world, there's uh, 2 billion people that do not have the opportunity to have a uh, 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 procedure, um, a surgery 
surgical procedure. Uh, that's, uh, uh, and that means that one billion people will die every year in the world. So with these techniques, this is gonna change. And that's what we wanna change. We wanna change the world, we wanna change how we're teaching right now. And this is not going to be only for medicine, this is gonna change the way we teach for all the university, you see? Yeah, definitely, that's that's exciting. And I've, I'm curious too, we were talking earlier and you had said it was just easier to, to build the hospital from the ground up the way that you wanted it to incorporate the technology that you wanted to have incorporated. So. Tell me, I guess, where are you at now in building your hospital? Are you almost done? When does it open? What are you doing? Well, 80% of the hospital is ready. We have the building already. Uh, we're finishing it up, and we, we have to bring the equipment. And the equipment will be the best of the best. You see? Yeah. Uh, technology has advanced so much in the, in the past months years every minute we have something new like uh well here and uh on the web it we, we can see a lot of uh of news um new technology coming on and uh, cheaper cheaper and more effective of course right. uh like uh, let's say uh blood analysis um laboratories take uh, they take about two weeks to detect Zika or H uh, HIV. A few weeks ago, the FAD in the United States uh, have approved a small machine this size that can detect Zika, uh, HIV in minutes. Yeah. Unlike, uh, and we're going to see in the, this afternoon, later on, uh, the, the, the machine, um, Watson, it can detect uh, uh, leukemia in seconds. Right. And uh, now, a few months ago, they detected a very rare leukemia in 10 minutes. Uh, they wouldn't be able to do that any laboratory in the world. Right. So we have that right now in our, in our hands. So we have to change the world. We have to change the way to, to think, you know. And, uh, and I, we think with Chaffee that uh, uh, it's the best time to open a, a new hospital with new technology. Because the, the hospitals that are working right now, for them it's very hard to, to insert new technology because the doctors, the people, they are used to what they are doing. So changing this, is, it's very, very hard. But if you do it at the beginning, you train the people, then things are different. So this is a, an advantage that we are going to have. So we're going to have a time to, to teach the, the people, to, to, to teach the doctors, to train them on the new technology. So it's not gonna be new for them because it's, it's gonna be the, the beginning. Right. It's part of the job, so things are gonna go all right, you know? Okay. Last thing I wanna know from you, Martin, is what's going on in Bolivia? Give us a little bit of a sense of what the healthcare environment is like there. What are some of the challenges and what are some of the opportunities? Well. Um, like in all, all South America, uh, medicine, healthcare is bad. Uh, the the, the uh, Lancet Commission, they made a study, and we're in a bad, bad position. We want to change this with a shaft. What's bad? Bad, bad. <laughs> people dies. People dies for a diarrhea. People dies for, I mean... We don't have uh, well uh, doctors trained. Um, we even don't have doctors for many specialties. You see, so people will die, and we want to change that. For with with the new technology, we can have knowledge from other countries without having to go away. Now we can 
transport people with avatars, with the new technologies. So this is going to change a lot. So we want to make Bolivia, that's in the middle of South America, like a hub. So we can irradiate that to all over South America because it's going to be easier for us because we're beginning, we're starting a new hospital in, uh, in this way, you know? Yeah. So uh, the technology, it's, 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 as I said, it's cheaper right now, much, much cheaper yes. than it was before. So um, we can get better uh, machines, uh, cheaper machines and more uh, uh, efficient, much, much more efficient. Martin, it sounds like you're going to have a tremendous impact, not only in Bolivia, but elsewhere in South America and, and abroad oh, yes. as well. Yes, it's going to be a, a great impact. Like, uh, you heard about Zebra. They have the, the best immunology right now. Just now, about a month ago, uh, they were 1% uh, of accuracy uh, for any immunology. Uh, the best immunology in the world, the best one, can only be accurate 60% because our, our mind <laughs> our, uh, cannot see some things. Yeah. Uh, it will, you know. So the machine is going to help the doctors to take better decisions. That means better uh, um, recovery for the patient. Yes. You see? Yes. Martin, thank you so much for talking well, with me. It's a you. pleasure to speak with you. Best of luck with well, everything. Thank you for the interview. Oh, thank really. you. Thank you. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Thank you so much for joining us.